Password, eh? Okay, not that one. Hang on. Hmm. You can never be too careful. I just wish there was some way to organize these damn passwords. I think you need a password manager program. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be reviewing a little password manager program by the name of Bitwarden. We'll be running through everything you need to know about this bit-sized application, from its encryption protocols to its logging policies. But first, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more top tier content. We're always keen to hear what you guys think, so don't forget to leave a comment as well. Anyway, enough of that. For this review, we'll be taking a look at four broad categories, namely features, security, ease of use and overall usefulness, and of course, pricing. We'll give each category a rating out of five stars and an additional rating at the end. With that out of the way, let's dig in. First things first, let's take a look at features. We should probably provide a little bit of context first. Bitwarden is an open source password manager crammed full of neat features. Best of all, it's free, but we'll get into that later. Basics, you get everything you'd expect in a free password manager. Two-factor authentication, a password generator, breach monitoring, that sort of stuff. All of that stuff is par for the course when it comes to password managers, and we'll cover all of that in the security section. However, unlike some other password managers, Bitwarden gives you unlimited password storage across an unlimited number of devices. Now, according to our calculations, that's a lot. Bitwarden also allows you to safely share your passwords with one other user. Now, granted, this isn't as extensive as some people would like, but you have to remember, it's free. Additionally, Bitwarden features biometric security options for a whole range of devices, including the big three, Windows, Apple, and Linux. I mean, Android. Unfortunately, the free version of Bitwarden does not include any encrypting file storage features, which is a real shame because that might have secured it a perfect score. The premium version does offer encrypted file storage, but only a single gigabyte's worth. As it stands though, Bitwarden has a respectable range of useful features more so than the average user may care for. Oh, did we mention that it's actually free? For now, Bitwarden's features gets four stars out of five. We're off to a great start. Let's see how Bitwarden holds up when we take a look at security. Okay, now we're going to cut into the real meat of the issue. The main reason anyone uses a password manager is to keep their credentials in order. Passwords are stored in a vault, the vault gets locked, and it can only be opened by a master password. But what keeps the vault locked? That's the question that you should be asking when you're checking out a spiffy new password manager. Not all of them are as secure as they should be, but how does Bitwarden stack up? The answer, quite well actually. Even though this is a free program, the sheer extensiveness of the security protocols is nothing to scoff at. Let's start with the basics. Bitwarden features two-factor authentication, which is a great way to keep digital rogues out of your virtual vault, even if they manage to get hold of your password. Bitwarden offers several different forms of 2FA. You can use an authenticator app like Authy, receive a one-time access code, or even complete a biometric scan. Side note, we're so glad that we live in the age of biometric scanning. Our inner cyberpunk is just giddy. Aside from that, Bitwarder's password generator is incredibly robust and can generate a password up to 128 characters long. No need to stick to the usual 14 characters here. You could also opt for a passphrase instead. Something cute and easy to remember like correct horse battery staple. If you need to share a dirty little secret with someone, Bitwarden's got you covered. The send feature is really easy to use. All you have to do is open it up and copy the file or text you'd like to send. Then all you have to do is share the link with someone else. Oh, there, I hear you say. Surely that poses a major security threat. You're right. Fortunately, you can customize your sends and limit access to a single person, or set a time limit on how long the file will be available for viewing. Neat, right? All of this goes totally unlogged, by the way. Bitwarden has a strict zero-knowledge policy. That means that nobody other than you can access the data in your vault. Unfortunately, this does also mean that Bitwarden's account recovery options are limited. Simply put, if you forget your master password, that's it. Your account will remain in the ether indefinitely. Hey, at least now nobody can access it. Lastly, I should mention that Bitwarden uses 256-bit AES encryption, which is the same encryption used by the bank or the government. Needless to say, your data is wrapped up tight. 
Bitwarden offers tight security options. Your data will be kept so secure that there's a chance that even you may lose access to it. However, it's always better to be safe rather than sorry, and Bitwarden seems to understand that. So for security, we're giving Bitwarden five stars out of five. Whew, that one was a marathon. It's always great getting to talk about some genuinely good programs like this one, but boy, does it take the wind out of me. Still a little ways to go though, so now let's take a look at ease of use. It's important to remember that everything we've mentioned would be moot if Bitwarden was difficult to use. Unfortunately, Bitwarden stumbles in a few places when it comes to accessibility. The most egregious offense is how Bitwarden handles autofilling. When you enter a new login, those credentials are meant to be saved to your vault. Unfortunately, this just doesn't work sometimes. When you revisit a site that Bitwarden recognizes, a pop-up will appear, allowing you to autofill your credentials. But Bitwarden sometimes forgets to save that site, meaning you'll have to sift through your password vault yourself to find the right details. You can circumvent this issue by manually saving each site you visit. But it's frustrating that this feature doesn't work the way it should. On the bright side, Installing Bitwarden and creating your account is super easy, whether you're on your phone or your PC. The browser application is also really smooth, meaning that you may not even need to use the app at all. Unfortunately, Bitwarden stumbles a little too much in this department for me to give it a high rating. In terms of ease of use, we're giving it three stars out of five. We know. Fortunately, there's one last category where Bitwarden can make up some of its lost points. Let's take a look at pricing. This is it. This is why everyone uses Bitwarden. It's free. Pretty much everything we've mentioned so far can be yours for the staggering price of zero dollars. Honestly, unless you'd like to show your support, there's no need to upgrade to the premium plan. If you do, however, it'll cost you ten dollars a year, which is still really cheap and gives you one gigabyte worth of local encrypted storage. If you really want to go to town, you could opt for the family plan instead, which comes in at $40 a year and is pretty much the same as the premium plan, but allows up to six separate users and unlimited file sharing between them. Honestly, there's nothing more that we can say about this matter. Bitwarden's prices are fantastic and more than make up for its clunky controls. Obviously, we're giving it five stars out of five. Okay, now it's time to give Bitwarden a final rating. In spite of its stumbles, it remains a stellar password manager, thanks to its low price and great selection of features. Overall, Bitwarden receives four stars out of five. Well done, Bitwarden. You've earned it. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more excellent content from yours truly. We're also curious to hear about your experiences with Bitwarden. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. For now though, we're gonna spend the rest of the day cleaning all of this out. Until next time.